I'm sitting out here just enjoying the still. Look at look at the sky. And we have very little wind, which we are very fortunate for because so many of others, I should say, have tons of wind as the wind kicks up as I'm talking to you. But we haven't had the high winds. Hopefully they won't hit and that can sometimes happen in the evening. All of a sudden the winds will kick in. So what's my day like today? Well, so far this morning, I went on my deck and I collected only broccoli. And we made a, like a broccoli omelet. It was more of eggs. Kitty loves that. I didn't put any other greens in there. Little tiny salt and pepper. And it's real simple. All you do is bring in some broccoli. You know, I can do it any way I want. As I change it up every day. Sometimes I do fold it, make an omelet out of it. But just chop it up. It's that easy. And then you just put in a bowl and then you crack your eggs one at a time. Always crack your eggs one at a time because you never know what you're going to find inside that you may or may not want to eat. And then just mix it up. Put it on a frying pan with a little oil. I like using uh, virgin olive oil, but you can use anything, any oil you want. You can use butter, you can use ghee, and that's about it. And then you just take it off. You can put cheese on top at the end. I sometimes put cheese on top, cover it. Cheese melts on top. Doesn't matter. And use the cheese you like. Always use what you like, and anything will taste good. You really can't make a mistake. That was our day. And then Gary tried to fix our washing machine. It isn't going through a spin cycle. He did get the right parts for it and he did change it, but after inspection, it doesn't grip as good. So the motor's not that strong. And we noticed now there may be a pinhole in the tub itself where you, you know, the washing machine tub, because there's a very slow drip coming from somewhere and all the pipes and everything were tight. Now, the thing is that machine went really good. It's probably 30 years old. So that's the washing machine. And then I'm gonna go get some onions planted because I bought those onions. I planted some already. And then I'm gonna get a few more planted. And then whatever I don't get planted, I'll give to Gary and he can put it in his garden. Because I'm not gonna put anything in the chair garden right yet. I wanna go through that and kind of empty stuff out and be ready for spring. I'm going to take a lot of what's in there out. It'll make beautiful soil. And then put more, you know, put everything back that's not growing I don't want and start fresh. And it'll be amazing how green that will look. The turmeric is still growing really good in front of me. It's really green here. It's getting sunlight. See, you can see it's getting sunlight. And obviously it's happy enough to keep growing, but it's going to die back soon because our nights are really cold. What was our high the other day? 69. And yet we're going to go through Thanksgiving. Now they're saying... Wow, at a whopping 80 plus degrees. So we do have a great fluctuation of temperature here. But the other thing is at night, it still gets cold. So we, it cools down enough for some of these plants that they won't make it. I've tricked a few to keep going, like my cucumbers, and there's been a few others I've tricked, but you know, I wanna kinda kick back, enjoy the holiday season. I enjoy watching Christmas movies. That's just my thing. It's kind of an unwinding type of movie you can watch that pretty much is always happy. And so you walk away from that. feel. It's a feel good. You know, that's what I like. Feel good. I can watch a lot of suspense and different things, but then you don't have that walk away feel good. And that's what I want. And then come January, I'm going to be going crazy trying to get all this done because I want to, well, I want to get the chair garden gutted. Every year I say I'm going to do it and I don't. So if there's something in there like celery or whatever, I want to pull it out, put it in its own pot and start over on that. Of course, I say that. There'll probably be a couple I won't, but we'll see what happens as we go. Because I have the scarlet runners and then the purple beans growing in there. The scarlet runners will come back from the base. So maybe I can just take part of it out and then rebuild the soil up and plant something else in there. So when the scarlet runners come back, you know, they'll still be there. Otherwise, if I gut it, they won't be there. And then I told you I was going to cut back on gardens. Yeah, well, that, that didn't work out. So now I've got the secret hidden garden that I'll be working on. I think I'm going to put a line of totes back there. And I have another garden I'm going to make. Yes, I'm building up my rainbow garden from behind. But I have another thing I'm going to try. 
got an idea. I think it could be fabulous. Don't want to talk about it yet because I haven't started it with some brainstorming I came up with. And well, let's hope, let's hope it works out. If it doesn't work out, I mean, I'll tell you about it no matter what, but I think it's going to work out. I think it's going to be fun. My biggest thing is where am I going to do it? No, I'm not doing it out there. We've had deer coming through here and I should do it here. In all aspects of what I'm going to do, I should, because I do have the deer and all kinds of critters here, but I want to be able to look at it and you look at it and say, I can do that. If I sit it here, you'll go, hmm, that's a lot of space there. I don't have that. So I'm going to do it someplace else. Anyways, I don't want to talk about that anymore. It's, I'm not doing that until maybe January. And the other thing is I want to grow what I like. That is a big thing because if you grow too many things that you don't like, like spaghetti squash, then you're running around trying to give it away and then you, they get too much and then they don't want it. So I'm going to analyze this winter what I want to grow and I want to get a lot of water fountains done. I want to make a few out of cement. I might even do them in the house. It sounds crazy, but I might do it in the house. So we'll see. And then this week, what am I doing this week? Oh, I'm setting up my hummingbird window. They are coming in by the thousands. In fact, I'm sitting here realizing I've got to go run back in because I've already put out, what did I put out so far this morning? Two gallons. And when I walked away, the feeders were almost empty. And the, I've got like a dozen feeders in one spot. They have a spot they happen to really like. And what's probably going on is as they're migrating through and they're coming through the trees, they can hear the commotion of all the hummingbirds. They hear the screaming and excitement and glory and happiness of, whoa, there's food and there's enough for everybody. And so they come in too to see what's going on. And of course, that's when they feed. And then there'll be some that may decide to stay, which is fine. You know, that's up to them. They know best if, and they're, they may be the ones that come and stay anyways that's coming back. I'm just enjoying the beautiful, beautiful blue skies, light breeze. And I hear a few birds around, but not too many. Oh, well, well, I should go back in. And soon I'll be thinking about getting a washing machine. I tend to go with, well, I, I buy an open box. It's worked out for me. My oven I bought was open box. My dryer was open. My dryer was discontinued. Here's a squirrel. That's a squirrel. And he's calling. That was an open box. I don't buy open boxes on everything, but, and oh, my refrigerator was an open box. So that worked out really good. And the refrigerator is beautiful. The first one was brand new. I think I talked about that one. Oh my goodness. It was not working from the beginning. And I called, the company didn't care. And I called, the company where I bought it from and told them I can't keep this. Thank goodness we saw right away within the first two weeks they came and picked it up and the guy who picked it up said he's picked up like, I forgot what he said, this past year like 50 of them so they were that bad. So I, I bought a better one open box. I actually got that one from Best Buy and it's beautiful. Absolutely love it and we saved a lot of money. An awful lot of money. All right, well, got a beautiful plane. I'm going back in and when I wash clothes I gotta do it a little differently the spin isn't working good and I've got to make sure the floor stays dry and start looking for a washing machine soon the joys of life hey hey, hey. 30 years you know 30 years Gary can't even remember when I bought it so it goes way way back and he said he can see it's been repaired a few times I don't remember I probably did call somebody out because they stripped all the screws inside, he said. They even had to put an extra screw in there. It's a shame because the old stuff always works better and it lasts for years. And the new stuff, oh, it's all electronic. So as soon as the electronics start to go, it's like, well, got to get a new one. Oh, well. Well, what are you going to do? Anyways, that's it. I'm going to go in. And I am going to, actually, I'm going to go get my onions. I'm going to go plant the rest of my onions and think about all the stuff I'm going to do. And then I'm going to make dinner and I'm going to go hang out and watch more Christmas movies. With that, have a wonderful day.
And don't forget to eat with your girl. Bye-bye. Such a beautiful day.